So today I have a quick project, or likely a quick project. Uh, I have a battery backup, backups 650. Uh, this APC, uh, somebody was throwing away, found it in the trash, and 90% of the time the problem with these things are dead batteries, and all you have to do is replace the battery and they work just fine. But people don't know that, so they throw them away. So we're going to pull the battery out, see if it's any good, and see if there's anything wrong with this. Uh, if not, it's a $100 unit that I just got for free. So taking the batteries out of these is extremely easy. Open up the back like this. And this is the original battery because uh, people don't buy APC brand batteries to replace them. Uh, there's nothing wrong with buying a local battery. And this one's stuck, so it may be swollen in there. And that, that's likely the problem why this guy doesn't work. I'm going to need to grab a screwdriver to pry it out of there. And just kind of work it loose a little bit. It is very tight. Um, if it's swollen, it could be getting ready to leak acid, so I'm going to be kind of careful with it. It comes out very easily. Usually they just fall out. This one being stuck means it's very likely that there's something wrong with this battery. Yep, and it's swollen. You can see this side is bulging. Swollen batteries are a little bit dangerous. They usually don't rupture, but my goodness, this one's stuck. See, this, you can definitely see the bulge on the side here. If the plastic is cracked like this one is, then it's a little bit more dangerous. I don't want that acid to come out. This makes a big mess. Yeah. Look at that. So, likely you just need a new battery. And it's, uh, it's falling apart. Now that we relieved the pressure. Uh, it's broken on this side too. So, uh, I'm going to store this on its end, because this doesn't look like it's cracked all the way through, so the acid doesn't leak out. Put that away. I don't have the exact same battery to test, but I've got one that's very, very similar. This battery is very similar. Uh, it's 7 amp hour. It has the smaller terminals. Uh, so it's probably, this UPS is probably fine. We're just going to wire this up. Uh, just in case, though, I'm going to wire it in line with the fuse here. In case there's something is something wrong with this, we don't want to hurt ourselves. Actually, we'll plug this in first. I'm not gonna leave it this way. We're just testing it with this. Okay. Hmm. APCs do require some voltage to turn on to kick their relay over. And this battery is dead. This is 9 volts. So, it's not going to work. Let's see if I can find a different battery that has more voltage in it than 9 volts. So the only 12 volt battery I could find was the ignition for my car, but uh, no matter, we're only testing this thing anyway. So I just need enough to make sure this thing turns on. I have a fuse block here, so I'm just going to wire into my fuse block. And look at that. It's going to probably complain. Yep. Yep, and guess what? There's no power plugged into it. <laughs> Alright, so now I have a brand new looks like it's brand new with just a dead battery 650 VA UPS for totally free just needs a brand new battery and it will work just fine so hope that helps somebody out if you ever find one of these things it's likely a dead battery just replace it you got a brand new unit so uh, if this helps you out a thumbs up would be appreciated thanks <laughs>